All right, well, I'm gonna make this short. I just got up in the stand. Just got my camera set up as I was putting the mic on. My shooter came out about 100 yards down the field here, worked his way up about 60 yards away from me and then dropped down into the woods, so he's really close. Bottom line is, I'm seated here up on some food tonight. I'm up at a high point. I've got uh, some oaks dropping acorns, beans, uh, greens, brassicas, and corn. So he's here. I don't know exactly where he went or if he's going to come back up, but uh, he's real close. So decent wind based on where he's at. It should be okay. But that was really fast. I was not prepared for this. So anyway, I'm going to get the rest of my stuff ready here and here we go. All right, well, I'm back up in the tree tonight, same spot as last night. Ended up seeing a really nice 10 point. Came out at 100 yards, right when I was setting up my camera gear. He came up, kind of fed up my direction, and was in panic mode, trying to get everything set. He ended up ducking down into the woods at about 60 yards. And so, I kind of waited around and nothing really was happening. A couple does came out. And then later on, I look over my shoulder and I'm watching for this 10 on my right side. And sure enough, I got a giant standing over my shoulder. And I knew the deer, but I was concerned because his left side looked like it had some breaks. And I mean, this is, this is a big deer. I think he's got like seven tines on his right side, but his left, it looked like there were three breaks. But after taking the footage home and zooming in, I realized that two of those points might not be breaks at all. They just didn't grow in. One of them may or may not be a break and I might be getting greedy, uh, not shooting that deer. So it's a really tough call. We'll see what happens in the moment if he does it again. But uh, 
I'm in the right spot, similar conditions, good wind, you never know. Maybe lightning strikes twice, we'll see here. So set up on this food again. I got the corn, clover, rye, beans, brass, cause you name it, it's a smorgasbord here. So see how it goes. And these deer should be moving in a little bit here.
I'm gonna go check the arrow here in a couple minutes and see what I'm working with. Hopefully, fingers crossed, hopefully I got them down. All right, well, I think I finally found the arrow here. Weirdest thing ever, there's no fletching on it and the knock is gone, but here it is. blood all the way up yeah blood all the way up blood soaked blood soaked all the way up and down here that's a really good sign that's a start all right so we're back here got the recovery group with me got elf on the camera got my dad and we're gonna head up the hill back to where I saw last blood and see what we got I see him. I see him. Heads up. Heads up. Yeah, he's looking at us. Okay. Unless that's a different deer. No, no, that's him. We gotta back out. We gotta back out. You see him? Congrats, man. Thank you. Dude. <laughs> All right. <laughs> oh, my gosh. What a monster. Absolute mega giant. He's, he's a monster. All right, guys. Well, it's the next day here. Last night was a little chaotic. Uh, made what I thought was a pretty decent shot. Uh, got down from the stand, looked at the arrow. The fletchings were gone. The knock was gone. I had blood soaked throughout the arrow. Walked up, followed the trail. I sat in the stand for probably, I don't know, hour and a half or so before even looking. And there was a good amount of uh, blood, but it was a little watery. There were some bubbles. So I called up my buddy Tom Alford, came out. We took up the trail about another oh, half hour later or so uh, with my dad and boy, we, we came up and this guy had his head up. He was only maybe, he only went 70 yards from stand. So we, uh, we backed out. He looked like he was wobbly. So Tom was really pushing me that, hey, we should go in because of these coyotes, they're brutal. And um, it was the right call, came back belly up and this is what we got so great deer definitely big old body big old deer here um, no question about it so super happy with this I mean it was October 16th today's the 17th and boy it's, this is a way to start out the season here so I'm thrilled and uh, I'll be back at it again shortly here so for now I'll enjoy the moment and uh, Take it all in.